Are you thinking about relocating to Henderson, Nevada and being a part of this awesome weather? Today it's November and it's still 80 degrees outside. Stay tuned to this video. We're gonna hop into the home buying guide, everything you need to know about living in Henderson, Nevada. I know you've got a lot on your plate because I remember when I made my move from Washington State here to Vegas, there was a lot to think about. You had to think about moving trucks, right? Or boxes. How am I gonna get everything from point A to point B? Do I need a storage facility? You're gonna have to think if you have kids, do you need daycare? Where do I find daycare? Here in Nevada, you're gonna have to get a smog check and then register your car, get a new driver's license. So there's gonna be a ton of these things that you're gonna to have to do some research on and figure out where to go. Feel free to send us an email, drop a comment below, or hit us up on social media. We'd be happy to send you our little cheat sheet to help you get acclimated here in Henderson. And if you have questions about your specific move, don't hesitate to ask because we'd be happy to do some research for you and help you get that information to help make your move a little more stress-free. I wasn't kidding about being 80 degrees and, and it's November. It's hot out there. So let's hop back into the list. The first thing that you wanna do now that you've decided that you wanna to move to Henderson and you wanna purchase a home. First thing is you have to get pre-approved. What does all of that entail? That entails a lender taking a look at your credit, reviewing your income, reviewing your assets, and also getting to know you as the borrower, figuring out how much you wanna pay for a mortgage. How long do you plan on staying in the home? What is your financial goals at the end of the day? Because we wanna make sure that we align the mortgage with your goals. And we don't just throw you into some random mortgage that you have no idea what you're getting into. Because for most people, buying a home is gonna be the biggest financial decision that they will ever make in their lives. So whether you do it once, twice, 10 times, we wanna make sure that we put you into the right mortgage so that way you can always be successful and we have a lifetime of a relationship together because we wanna help not only you, but also your kids and maybe even grandkids with their future home purchases. So before we hop into the next point, follow me. We're gonna talk about one of the most key important things that you have to think about as you make your move to Henderson. The one thing you wanna look for is reputation. You wanna make sure that you find a reputable lender and a reputable real estate agent. I know there's a lot of these companies that are online that, can, that are pitching these, we'll rebate you commission and we can do your pre-approval in minutes and all these other gimmicks. But the thing is, each market across the country is very specific in terms of the supply and demand and how quickly things move. Here in Las Vegas, as of right now, like I said, this is November, it is a seller's market. Homes are selling in a matter of days, if not hours sometimes. You're getting multiple offer situations. People are even offering five, 10, $15,000 above the selling price just to try to get an offer accepted. So when I say you need to find a great lender that has a great reputation, that's a key factor in buying a house because if you are gonna make an offer and you're up against, let's say five, six, seven, seven other offers, the one thing that could tip the scale in your favor could be a lender. Like myself, I've been in town for 14 years. I've done loans here in Las Vegas for a long time. I have a great reputation. We know a lot of the agents that sell properties here. So if we are up against maybe a no-name lender, a good chance is my client's gonna get that offer accepted because I've done business with the other listing agent before and they know that we can perform. So as you're searching for the lender to work with, don't get caught up so much on what is your interest rate or what is the APR. Those are two of the probably most common questions we get every single day. The thing you wanna look for is the reputation of that lender. Can you Google them? Can you find them? Do they have a profile online? Do they have reviews that you can read and search up? 
If not, you probably want to find somebody else because it doesn't matter if they can give you the best rate because if they can't perform and close your loan on time, you might actually be in jeopardy of losing your earnest money, right? And that's steps down the road that you might not even be thinking about because again, most people base their decision on their lender based on interest rate. They're not looking at all the other factors of can they close on time? How fast can the lender do a pre-approval? What kind of reviews do they have? What kind of service do they provide? Are they available on the weekends and at night? All these other things play a factor in your relationship with your lender. Now, when you're thinking about purchasing and you have to find a real estate agent, that's also a big thing to look for. Same thing as the lender. Look up their reputation. Do they have a profile online? Do they have an Instagram, Facebook, all these social media platforms to show that are they active in the marketplace? Are they closing deals, right? That's something you need to look for because again, in this market that we're in right now, things move very quickly. So if you have a real estate agent that's gonna take a day or two to text you back or call you about a property, that home can easily be sold and you're gonna lose out on potentially your dream home. And again, you're making your move from one state to the next. Things have to be in order and things have to line up or else you're gonna to have to cancel your movers. You, you know, if your job starts on a certain day and you're in a crunch or you have to move out of a certain property to move into another one, all these moving factors are a huge piece into purchasing a home, relocating. So do your research on reputation, make sure that you're working with somebody who's actively doing business, who can help you with the transition because making a move it's probably gonna be one of the, probably one or two most stressful things you can do, let alone you wanna buy a house when you do that. So you're doing two big transactions all at one time. You wanna make sure you start building the right team because when you build the right team, your move and your purchase can be extremely smooth, which will make you a lot happier and enjoy calling Nevada your new home. Okay, so now you found your reputable lender and your reputable real estate agent that you wanna work with. You guys are communicating and you're about to get the pre-approval process started. This is the most important step in the buying process. So as a lender, we're gonna take a look at your credit. Like I said, we're gonna look at your income. We're gonna look at your assets and the debt that's on your credit report. These factors will help us determine what you can qualify for. And once we start working on your application, most commonly we will ask for one month of pay stubs, two years of taxes, two years of your W-2 forms, and two months of bank statements. So do your favor, do your lender a favor and start putting this set of paperwork together because at a bare minimum, most lenders are gonna be asking you for this type of information. Now, again, you're making your move, so maybe some of this stuff is in boxes and you're packing it away. So make sure you leave this stuff handy. If you can scan it, email it to yourself, that'd probably be an easy way to do it because most lenders today work off of a secure portal where you can just upload your documents straight to them so they can start reviewing it and finish your pre-approval. Now, going back to my other point about having a reputable lender, one of the things you might wanna ask your lender is how long does it take you to do a pre-approval? The market is on fire right now. Everybody's busy with refinances, purchases. There's just business everywhere. So talking to a certain lender, right? Some guys might be able to do a pre-approval maybe in 24 hours. Some guys might take maybe a week. So you wanna know what your financial situation is gonna be before you start shopping for a home. So get with your lender, make sure you get a good idea of once you provide these documents to them, how long will it take them to analyze your file and come back with your pre-approval so you can start shopping for your home. Now as a side note, here at Loan Depot, we have our proprietary technology called Mellow. One of the advantages to our Mellow system is that we can actually digitally verify your income and your assets. So when you fill out one of our online applications, we have the ability to potentially verify your income and your assets. And if we can do that, we may not even need bank statements, pay stubs, or your W-2s. So 
I know the paperwork can be a huge hassle sometimes, so that's just one of the advantages to our metal system and working with Loan Depot. Congratulations, you've talked to your lender, they've reviewed all your paperwork, now they've given you your official pre-approval letter. So this begins the fun part. Now you can start searching for a home. One of the things that you wanna keep in mind, especially if you're relocating from another part of the country to Henderson, is that many homes here in Henderson do have an HOA or homeowners association fee. So if you're not accustomed to this fee, this actually gets tacked on to your mortgage payment. So it's an additional fee that you have to pay on top of the mortgage. Again, get with your lender, ask these questions because depending on what part of town you're living in, what, part, what community you end up moving into, whether it's gated, not gated, is it guard gated, all these additional features could potentially increase that HOA payment. So I've seen HOAs cost 50 bucks a month, 60 bucks a month. And then you have some of these guard gated places where you might be paying three, four, five hundred $500 a month just on HOA fees. Make sure to do your homework, not only with your lender, but with your real estate agent to make sure that you ask the right questions because you don't wanna get hit with a surprise once you get your offer accepted and find out there's additional fees that you were unaware of. Now that you've been shopping, congratulations, your offer has been accepted by a seller. This is where things start to speed up. Most closing dates here in Henderson are about 30 days or less. So not only is the market very competitive, things tend to move a little quickly. Um, and again, that's where the reputation of your lender is super important because you want to be able to close on time because I have seen instances where sellers will impose a penalty upon the buyer for failure to close on time. They may charge a per diem fee of maybe 50 bucks or even $100 a day if you cannot perform. They don't care what the reason is. If you don't close on time, they will charge you that fee. So again, make sure you get with your lender, get with your agent, make sure that you understand the contract of what you're getting into because all these dates are going to be super imperative to closing on time and some of these dates that you should be aware of is your appraisal contingency and the appraisal contingency means you have to have your appraisal back within a certain time frame per the contract or else you might run the risk of not being able to back out of the contract if the home doesn't appraise for what you're offering to pay. So that's something you should be aware of. Also, there's a loan contingency date. Loan contingency date, essentially, you would wanna have your loan approved before that time. Because again, if your loan isn't and there's something shaky or odd about your file and, and the lender or the underwriter is not sure of, you'd wanna be able to back out of the contract or else once you surpass that date, you might be in jeopardy of losing your earnest money. Another thing that you also wanna be aware of is your initial home inspection date, your due diligence period. Most agents will write the due diligence period for about 10 days. Um, you can write it for less, you can write it for more, right? In that initial time, you have to, or you want to be able to get all your inspections done. So you're gonna do your home inspection. That's where somebody will come out, they will look at every nook and cranny in that house. They will look at the roof, the the, suit, the piping, everything in the property, and they're gonna give you this 100-page report that's basically gonna tell you the good, bad, the ugly about the house. A lot of it looks ugly, but it's an unbiased report that really just dives through everything, gives you a good condition of what the house is really in, so you can decide, is this something I wanna take on, or is this something I wanna back out of? Now, another thing, is the house sitting on a well or septic? If it is, you probably need to get that checked as well. So that's where your real estate agent and your lender has to work together because all these things have timelines that have to be met per the contract and for you to close on time. So that's why, like I mentioned in the earlier part of the video, having a, a team is the most important thing you can do because if they're not communicating together, you could easily miss these dates. And the last thing you wanna do is lose your earnest money when you're purchasing a home because that just becomes an entire headache uh, and no one wants to do that. So make sure your team is on point, know the contract, know what you're getting into. And at this point, you probably got 30 days to close. So keep watching and we'll hop into the rest of the video. Your loan docs are at title. It's time for you to sign this is what all the hard work is all about. Now you're ready to sign for your house. 
Another thing to point out here is that if you are relocating from anywhere in the country or in the world for that matter, you don't necessarily have to be in Las Vegas to sign your loan documents. We can actually send them to a mobile notary and they will meet you wherever to get them signed. I have clients right now that are in Australia that are purchasing homes here in the States and they're going to be signing at a U.S. Embassy. So we can figure out a way no matter where you are in order to help you purchase or refinance here in Henderson. These are just some of the things that working with an experienced lender, they will have knowledge on how to set these things up properly. Because again, you wanna meet all these timelines from if you've got the movers coming to your house you know, on a Friday and you need to be able to sign your loan docs to get your keys that day so you can move in on a Saturday. That's where the communication and the teamwork is so important because coordinating your utilities, the moving companies, your flights, hotels, anything that's gonna take you and it's gonna cost you money in order to make your move and call Nevada your new home, we wanna be able to make that easy for you. So that's why, like I mentioned earlier in the video, you can click on our link or hit us up for our free checklist to help you with your move, with all the utilities, everything you can think of. So that way we can try to make this process a little stress-free for you and a little more enjoyable for you and your family. So that's a wrap. You close on your house, you've got your keys, you are now a new homeowner here in Nevada. I hope this video has helped you understand the buying process, gave you some things to think about, and maybe some things to even be aware of if you haven't even decided if you wanna move here yet. And as always, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're always gonna be putting out more content to help you with your move, understand buying homes, refinancing homes, anything to do with mortgages here in Nevada. And if you have a specific question, we're here for you. So drop us a line, send me a DM, email, whatever it is. I wanna help you with your move so that way you can potentially call Nevada your new home. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.